Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video for the week of May 13th through the 19th. And this week I'm going to be doing a garden theme. Now, um, you may have seen my haul video that I loaded yesterday. Um, I did, all, I mentioned that I bought these two things at Daiso Japan, and then I bought this at Hobby Lobby. So I think I'm gonna use some paper out of here. Uh, this came from the Dollar Tree. I might grab some paper, some stickers off of that. I've got some other stickers as well, so I'm gonna probably, I've, I've probably grabbed way too much stuff. Um, this came out of one of those little teacher sets at the Dollar Tree. Um, I thought that would be cute to try to add in there. Not sure how I'm gonna do that. I also have some seed packs that I got from Cheaply Chic from my, um, what was that, April kit? Is it April? No, March kit. Her March kit was like a garden theme. So that came in that pack. And then got some journal cards and other stickers from Hobby Lobby. So I pulled out probably way too much stuff, but um, I didn't really have a plan or what I wanted to do. So I just pulled everything kind of garden themed. Um, I am going to be doing a voiceover today just because I want to take my time and um, and watch a little uh, TV while I'm doing this. So I will go ahead and start the with me. First thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and pick out the papers that I'm going to be using. And I did select two different papers from that paper pack that I showed you at the beginning. I chose that one with the little strawberry tomato things and then the green striped one and um, basically what I wanted to do was just pull out the rub-ons because I wanted kind of to get an idea of where I could place them and because I figured that I wouldn't be able to see them on the pattern paper so what I did was I pulled out some of these craft stickers that I bought at Daiso um, and I'll leave a link to that haul video at the top of here if you're interested in checking that out. You can go ahead and just click on the little card. But basically what I decided to do was kind of make my own stickers um, because I felt like having them on the rub-ons on the pattern paper, it wasn't going to show up as well as it would if it was like on this little craft sticker. So I'm just cutting out a little saying there that says, I think it says sow what you reap or something like that or reap what you sow or something like that. And then um, I'm going to come back to that in a second. But then I decided I was going to go ahead and cut up the different pieces of paper. And I cut up four different pieces of each of the different designs um, to use in the planner layout because I wanted to leave some of the white space just because I wanted to put some of the rub-ons on the white area and then um, also but also wanted to use the pattern paper so I didn't use too many pieces all right so I cut the first one and I'm just gonna go ahead and use it as a template to cut the other ones out and then um, I'm also gonna cut some for the bottom piece now these are two different measurements because when I'm doing the top piece, I cover up the pink line at the top and the little pink line at the bottom. So it is a little bit of different in measurements because this one's only covering up the pink line at the um, that top row. And then I cut a piece of paper from the scrap paper. I just used um, that to cover up the side panel and then also just added a little flag there um, to add some design to that little side panel and then I wanted to ink up all of the edges because I feel like garden you know kind of is a messy I wanted them kind of look dirty but that would kind of add to the overall design so I just inked up all the pieces and then went ahead and used my blue dots tape adhesive runner here and I'm just going to go ahead and glue all the little pieces on to the planner layout And when I do this, I want to, what I'm basically doing is the very, when I'm gluing the top portion of the um, layout, I'm lining it up with the top of the, um, the planner 
And then when I do the bottom one, I'm lining that one up with the bottom. I'm not sure why I do that. I just feel like it kind of helps me make sure that it's kind of lined up. Okay, so I felt like once that was done, I needed just a little bit something else to kind of add to um, the design of the page. So I went ahead and added this brown washi tape at the bottom. I kind of felt like it looked like dirt. So <laughs> again, kind of playing off that garden theme. So that's kind of why I decided to add the, the brown washi tape. And it did cover up, of course, the pink that was on the bottom of the, the planner page. It has like those little pink polka dots. So I did leave the quote there on the side. So. And then I still wanted to go ahead and add something that made it look like a garden theme. I know the um, rub-ons will do that, but I also wanted to just add this really um, cute journal card. This came from an authentic paper stack that I have. And um, so I went ahead and just cut it so that it would fit into those two boxes right there. And I think that just adds a little touch of garden to the theme without being too overwhelming. And I loved the colors that I loved that the colors matched really well with the pages I already had. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover up the numbers. I didn't want them to be pink. Um, I did leave the March and the calendar there on the side, but um, I wanted to cover up the numbers at least. Okay, so the next thing that I decided to do was kind of, I wanted to go back to that idea of putting the rub-ons on the little stickers there. So I just took that one sticker and I'm going to go ahead and get that on that um, little craft sticker label. And then I added a little piece of, I don't know, looked like a little like uh, herb um, there on the side. It kind of just fell right into the spot where the um, the words were. So I just added that and then I decided, I'm going to show you a close up there. And then I decided that I'm going to go ahead. I, I liked that idea. So I went ahead and did a couple more. Um, I'm going to use these little tools and add them to the bottoms of these labels just so, and then that way I could add things that I'm going to do throughout the week on these labels. So they could be like my little um, you know, eight labels that I put stuff on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get those in here on, and then I'm going to use those during the sticker time portion of the video. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so I used those three and then I did that also with some of the other little herb things that are on there. On that rub on page. And then um, I do end up using some of the rub ons during sticker time. So let's go ahead and do sticker time.
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my journal card. Um, I just took another piece of that green striped, green and white striped paper, and I'm gonna ink that up. And then I did wanna put some coffee stained paper on the back of that, just because I didn't like the stark whiteness of that back page. So then I just glued some of that paper on there, and then um, I definitely wanted to end up using this little cute little image of this little girl planting tomatoes. Um, it came from the same authentic paper pad that the other journal card that I used the, with the um, garden theme. So I just cut that out and just kind of fussy cutted it out. And then I'm going to, I am going to use that tomato little seed packet thing there. Um, I was trying to use it on the front because I thought it was cute that it got the she was ha she was doing the tomato thing and that was a tomato packet but I ultimately didn't end up using it on the front I actually decided to use it on the back page just because I felt like I could um, add a little journal card or something and tuck it up into that spot into the pocket of that um, seed packet all right so what I'm gonna do um, I took that little grow thing that I got at the Dollar Tree it's Part of their um, it's one of the things that, that's in the like teacher section and um, I'm gonna use that as well so I'm first gonna glue this little part onto the um, back there and then I did put it kind of at the top because the seed packet does open from the bottom so if I wanted to slip in a journal card I could do that all right, so then I decided that I wanted to use these little rub-ons. They're like little plaques that say like plant and bloom and flowers. So I just kind of added them to the different little spots. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get those in here on. And uh, yeah, I'm not really know what to say. I'm just going to go ahead and get those rubbed on. <laughs> It's funny, sometimes I feel like I just need to talk, like when I'm doing a voiceover. Like I can't have any silence during the voiceover part. I'm not sure why I feel that way, but I do. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get that glued on. I am letting it hang over on the side a little bit. I like when I do that, so it kind of adds a little design to the page. All right, so that is it. That is what my planner layout looks like for this time. I think it turned out pretty cute. It definitely has a garden theme, but it's not like in your face garden. So yeah, I really like it. And I hope that you guys do too. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.